What's up, everybody? My name is Nilmer's TV, and welcome to the seventh. Yeah, it's just the seventh se episode something. of the Nilmer Steve Movie Nights. You're a bastard, Harry. Today, I'm joined by Max Honoris X hey. and Away from Keyboard Dog, stars of The Line and Hybrid Town, and. I actually wasn't particularly relevant in the line. Too bad. And for the first time. Jesse from Big Mouth. Are you the patriarchy? Oh, yeah. we I'm love those confused. celebrity guests. Yep. Can, can we, like, not have Big Mouth sound bites? Please? No, I am. I put could. a lot of effort into this, actually. Yeah, so. like, why wouldn't you? Yeah, I know, right? Like, it's like you could on. go I through life. I just want a grown up bra. <laughs> you could Come go on. Through, it's really good. You it's really go good. through life without Big Mouth. Mouth. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do anything? Are you other? trying to make me afraid of my own sexuality? <laughs> what? Anyway, that's um, enough for now. <laughs> Today, we watched Mr. Stitches. Directed, written. Um, What's his name? Charles. Charles E. Colin. Charles E. Colin. He did basically everything. He even operated the puppet. Yeah. Uh, He's like Tommy Wiseau did for the room, and it's his passion except, project. Except he filmed it. He didn't act in it. Right. Well, he no, that was him. Like. Oh yeah, he did like. There were like narration. several shots of him in between scenes where he just kind of like recapped or just like explained his reaction to what was happening and then sometimes just said something that was going to happen in the future and then that right. thing in the future happened an old man drifts into town with a traveling marionette show and a truck full of junk or is it all junk this was probably the most entertaining movie I've ever seen we I liked it a lot. It yeah. was really good. It was actually really good. Yep. So, all right, let's let's start with the, the plot. So we we start off with um um this person, and he's this wan he's this wandering uh, show person, and what he does is he says, "Give me fifty cents" to a bunch of kids, and he's like, "And I'll give you a puppet show," and he gets his fifty cents, and he has this puppet show. Which portrays it sucks uh, uh, ass. No, it portrays this cowboy and a relatively derogatory caricature of a Native American person. <laughs> Get off my land, you stinking Indian! And, and then he's like, and he's like, give me fifty more cents, and I'll show you the rest of the, the play. As like after like a minute, and then all the kids are like, no, no, that was bad. No, those are the only two lines. Yeah, and and one kid was like, I want my fifty cents back. And then, like, he's like, uh, uh, and he's like, hey, but a stick. And he's like, I'm going to beat you with this stick. <laughs> and all the kids run away. And then it's just too much excitement for the old man. And he gets a heart attack and dies. And there's this one little girl that doesn't go with the other kids, but just No, no, no. She, try, she tries to run. She try, but she's just running in the field. <laughs> she's and running then, in the field for, like, oh, three days. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, several we'll days later. We'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay. First of all, we're going to, of course, go over the plot as we always do. Please... If you have not seen this movie, which I'm like 99.999% sure you haven't, watch it. It's brilliant. How can you watch, watch it? Watch it though? with all your friends. How can you watch it? I, okay, like, where let me can see. you find it? Okay, so while while Nil at Nilmer Steve is pulling up where to find the movie, um, I'm gonna go a bit more over the plot. So what happens later is the uh, police officer, two of the police officers, like the deputy and like the sheriff, um, they're very southern and also very thick, and there are <laughs> <laughs> there are. Uh, quite a few shots that are just their asses while they're walking, um, uh, and um, they they say, "Okay, so we're gonna loot this guy's stuff because he died." And then they look over in the field while they're talking about looting the stuff while they're looting the stuff. And then that girl from earlier, this is, uh, several days have passed, and then that girl's just still walk, it's like running around in the grass in the same place. And they're like, "Ah, that's a little girl." I wonder if she had lost her family. She's probably lost. And then they just go back to talking about losing that guy's stuff. Also, they ignore, ignored, um, they ignored a, um, a call about a domestic dispute that was on the walkie-talkie. They're really good like, sheriffs, eh, yeah. Let's yeah. just ignore it, you know? Yeah, that is... By the way, everyone in this movie is really, really Southern. Just, just really Southern. Especially whatever her name is. Oh, yeah. We'll get to later. Oh. Rhin Rhinestone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leslie. Leslie Rhinestone. Leslie Rhinestone. Rhinestone. My favorite character. <laughs> so, I looked up Mr. Stitches, the film we just watched. It has a Rotten Tomatoes page, but there are no critic reviews for it, because we're, like, the first people to ever see this movie. 
The, Mr. Stitches is going to go visit The movie us. trailer was uploaded to YouTube by Charles Cullen in 2009. Yep. Um, How many views does that have? <laughs> oh, that's uh, quite a few views. Oh, wow, 28,000 views. Guess we're not the only ones to hear about this. Is this a PSA? Because I'm Mr. Stitches, and that's what I do. I think this was made in the 70s, and so this person had about $20 left for quality and special effects. It was made in 2006. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm going to have nightmares. <laughs> Uh, colon L. That's a strange face. <laughs> Scariest <laughs> thing I have ever seen. So yeah, it's terrifying. It's a horror movie. It's listed in the horror genre on Rotten Tomatoes, even though and up it is that, up what, next such is a comedy. Top ten hilarious movie deaths by Watch Mojo. <laughs> With a, a man inflating and his uh, and steam coming out of his nost right. nostrils. I don't know what movie that's from, but it has thirty six million views. Wow. So, jeez. <laughs> Oh, every, nice. every death in this film was should be in the top ten most hilarious movie deaths. I I second that opinion. <laughs> they were all very good. There were a lot of deaths. Okay, so the little girl we talked about, she gets a knife thrown at her head. And then the next day, they just find a rib cage, and they're like, "Isn't that the girl we saw a couple days ago?" <laughs> you know, the one that we said, "Oh, she's probably lost." And then go back to talking about looting the things from the right. dead guy. And then one of the things they looted was a box, um, which this kid bought. I think. Yep. He was shirtless and just. Wearing no, he gold. wasn't bought. He's like, he it was at his workplace for some reason. And then he's like, instead of getting paid this week, can I just have this box? I like the artwork on it. <laughs> it's just a doll. It's a doll on it, and it says Mister. And he's just shirtless. I don't think he's wearing any clothes other than an overall, just overalls. And he's yep. just walking around. Um, I'd like to think that he, there's something on there. He's yeah. also he's also very very southern. Uh, so he goes into his room. He says "gee whiz" multiple times as well. <laughs> he's also yeah. a ginger. Yeah. So there's that. Uh, he takes the doll home, Mister Stitches. Because he likes the artwork on the box. Yeah. And then it starts to shake mysteriously. And then the locks come off magically. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Before the locks come off, there's about two minutes of shot reverse shot. Where oh. he looks... <laughs> he's reading a comic book. He looks up. And then it, like, goes back to the box. And then it goes for a couple seconds. Th these shots are... And then it shakes. And it goes back to him. You know, it's like, not huh? like... It's just like a clip. It's like it pans each time. Yeah. And there was that one really <laughs> awkward time where it's it's like the camera's on him and you hear the box rattling. Yeah, You're right. Th this doesn't, film doesn't really have very precise editing. But eh. continue. The lock's open. <laughs> and then Mr. Stitches pops out and says, Tommy, did you know you're a bastard? Your dad's not your real dad. Someone else got your mother pregnant. Mr. Stitches, he pulls out a gun and he shoots Tommy in the head. And a really, really high quality CGI effect. Yeah, it's not even CGI, it's just like a sprite. It's like a low res right. sprite. And it's like a boom. Yeah. And then at this whole time, the kid, you said his name was Tommy? Yes, I okay, believe so, it's Tommy. So Tommy was just like staring blankly this whole time with like a comic <laughs> book in his hands. While this puppet is saying... You're a bastard, Harry. It's so great. Um, and then he, yeah, he's like, "Oh, your dad's an alcoholic. That's why he uh, did. You, did your dad pick you up from work today? No, because he is an alcoholic. Did you know you're a bastard? <laughs> your dad isn't your real dad. <laughs> yep. I'm not even paraphrasing. I'm pretty sure those no, were the actual. He just kind of panned back and forth, and then he said you're some random things, and then he shot him. Oh, yeah, he shot him, and he's and, and he's dead. The movie uses the same um, blood special effects for each of Mister Stitches's. Brutal kills. And this is a like full effort blood splatter. Like it just doesn't just like run out. It like gushes out with the force of some strong water pump. <laughs> right. With the force of a knocked over fire hydrant. Yep. And just blood is just gushing. Mm -hmm. It's not even blood. It's just a bunch of red circles. Right. Uh. So then he goes to Bat Boy's house. No, 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 <laughs> Billy. Or Bat Boy. So there's He's this... credited as Bat Boy, but I think <laughs> they say his name in the movie as Billy. Yeah. I don't know why. And then, um, so, so he just appears in his house. Billy is just on his bed. I forget what he's doing. I think he's also reading, like, a comic book or something. Um, and then Mr. Stitches is like, 
why did you get a bad grade on the test today, Billy? Um, and Billy said, um, uh, uh, what, what did Billy say? Oh, it's because, oh, no, I just don't understand the material. Yeah. And then Mr. <laughs> Stitches said, no, that's wrong, Billy. It's because you have a learning disability. And, and, and he calls he, him a dummy lots of times. And then he said, I kill dummies. Yeah. And then his head turns around and he says, I want to educate you, Billy. And then he tells him about vampire bats. Or and no, then no, Billy no. gets attacked by do vampire bats. Do you know bats. what I'm going to do, Billy? Billy says no, 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 sir, no, <laughs> sir. His head rotates a 360, and somehow magically glasses come on. He's like, I educate dummies. <laughs> yep. And then so he's like, okay, so the vampire bat, and he says like the scientific name of the vampire bat, Which is and like, something like, who cares? Doesn't yeah, matter. I look, I look, something that does mundus rotundus or something. Yeah, dismundus rotundus, I think. Um, which is actually right. I checked it on Wikipedia. Um, <laughs> and then he's like, oh, the vampire bat. Uh, eats this amount and it's the only bat that can fly from a standing position and then all the while just bats uh like a bad bat effect which is super pixelated it just spammed everywhere in any given frame of billy there's probably at least 25 bats and oh then God, they, also, this like, is the he worst. turns on the fan. he also he, he um he turns on the fan and a bunch of bats fly into the fan and there's more blood and then at one point, there's uh, stop-motion bats, and that's, that's great. It's at, like, five frames a second. Yeah, and they're giant bats, too. From Why Glee. coming out of my vagina? <laughs> <laughs> okay, who is, this who is this character, and why do they... Why do I have a feeling like they're a caricature or something? They are a caricature. Have you seen Jesse from Big Mouth? I've not seen Big Mouth, and I don't want to. Okay. It's really good. I really um, don't want to go... I can't believe I'm wearing a 9-11 towel as a diaper. <laughs> what? <laughs> I am... Can we... Okay, no more Big Mouth. No more Big Mouth. I think every movie night from now on should just be about a Big Mouth episode. Okay. No, we're not doing that. You know that one where that one guy fucked a pillow? Yeah. And what? I do remember that. <laughs> yeah. It's really what? good. And then he that pillow got pregnant somehow. Anyway. Big Mouth predicted weeaboos. What the mons know? pubis? <laughs> Can we stop with the Big Mouth? <laughs> okay. Please. No. So what happens after... Oh, yeah, okay, so... So in still in Billy's room, there's like just bats everywhere, and Mr. Sitch is, is like, okay, so the um, uh, so the vampire bat can suck some amount of milliliter um of blood, and he's like, do you know this is uh this is uh multiplication, Billy? Do you know how many uh how many this milliliter is arithmetic actually? This is arithmetic, Billy. <laughs> do you know how many milliliters that'll be multiplied by the amount of bats in this room? You'll be sucked pretty dry real quick. <laughs> and then I guess he died. And he is no, he's he's on his bed, and then like a like five stop motion bats moving at like he five. Look like he's he doesn't look like he's being attacked. He just looks like he's lounging. Right, <laughs> like the if five anything... stop motion bats just attack him at like five frames per second, and then he's just dead. Well, that's the worst enemy, isn't it? Low FPS. He's dead. Right, but he also alive. I sick it <laughs> He thick, but he protect. <laughs> Yep. Uh, so I honestly forgot what happens after Billy. Is is after after? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's the, it's the girl he, skeleton that we already talked about. Yeah. Right. And then he and he like, calls he, the sheriff. Oh yeah. He shoots. What happens is he shoots a. Is the two police people? No. What happens is there's two police. The people sheriff the has a gun. Yeah. One of them like is like look. There's a groundhog, and the other like pull, very hastily pulls out a gun and shoots the groundhog, or at least attempts to. And he's like, well, we don't actually argue. see a groundhog. Yeah, I know. We see him shoot, and then we don't know if he actually shot the groundhog yeah, or not. Yeah, and they had an argument over whether he hit it or he missed. And they're still having that argument, like, a day later. <laughs> no, like, and then, um, no, what happened is, it's like, then he's like, let's go check to see if you hit the groundhog. And then they go there, and they find the girl's skeleton. That looks it's, nothing like the girl, Yeah, it's just, like, a deformed plastic looking head of some kind the top <laughs> half of like some skeleton decoration her, her entrails are just like hanging out of her rib cage yeah they're this, just this like makes, red paper yeah this <laughs> makes the lost skeleton of cadaver look like it have, has like top notch effects or something it, what are you talking about it did have top notch effects I knew you were better, going to better than Pixar down this. well that did have like a it was going for a 50s vibe yeah so. that's true I, uh, it's, it, it's excused so what happens after the Corpse that is like oh we need to call oh yeah yeah it cuts to, it cuts to the guy who directed the film Charles E Colin Charles E Colin and it cuts to him again because it does that a lot um, and he's like oh so they decided to call the best uh, 
uh, sideshow person in the West. Uh, Leslie. The last. Les Leslie Reinhardt. Rhinestone. Rhinestone. <laughs> Reinhardt is a character from Overwatch. Oh my gosh. It's also a character from ReZero, but oh. I I haven't watched that. Is that an anime? Yeah, it is. Freaking weeaboo. It not only is it an anime. Ring ding dingity, sheriff. Your phone is a ring ding dingin'. <laughs> ringy dingy a ring ding dingity a ring ding dingity dingity to you too ring ding ding a ring ding dingity <laughs> <laughs> ring ding dingy dingy <laughs> ring ding dingy a ring ding ding dong <laughs> Ring it dong 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 to you. <laughs> That's a lot of fun, isn't it, Sheriff? Anyway. Wanna stop? Wanna not? Sure, yeah. This is not amazing. What are you talking about? It was a meme. <laughs> yeah, boy. Uh, oh but God, this is the worst. But okay, so so Leslie Reinhardt, um, or Rhinestone. I'm just, sorry. We'll, we'll just call her Leslie yeah, Reinhardt. Yeah, <laughs> Leslie Reinhardt. Um, her introduction is just like, oh, she retired and became a tomato farmer. Yeah, and, she's and, like twenty. <laughs> yeah, she is like twenty. And then she, she's holding a chicken, and there's just chickens everywhere. This is where the non does the non genetic oh, footage geez. of the chickens start here. Not quite. Okay, but if you took all the non genetic footage of chickens in this movie and cut it all together, that would be like half the runtime. It's seriously Not like half the movie. During the final gunfight, which we'll get to, half of it is just <laughs> random shots of chickens. Yes. There's even there's... there's even a chicken without neck feathers, so we. Just has a scrotum for a neck. Right. No, it's like it's like the waddle. It, no, it's not that. It's like the waddle like covers the neck feather. So he has. He looks like he has a scrotum for neck. It's like red and inflamed. They're ju different chickens too, but only one of them is credited uh, in the credits. And the, it's credited as like some hippie name. <laughs> I forget. The, I forget it was like, like a egg, really hippie. It's name. like Eggwood Cullen or something. Oh, eggnog. Eggnog, eggnog Cullen. Cullen. Yep. <laughs> so. I guess it is Charles E. Cullen's uh, chicken. Real chicken, yeah. Yeah, eggnog hey. colon. Yep. Should we just get to the gunfight? There uh, really American isn't much in this movie. Charles Edmund Cullen is an American serial killer. What? Cullen. There's <laughs> another Charles E. Cullen. Yeah, this film was is... a serial killer. Okay, this film. <laughs> and this film's about a puppet serial killer. Okay, wow. so this this okay. film is literally so obscure. We look up Mr. Stitch's, the first Wikipedia results for a movie called Mr. Stitch. We we'll look up Charles Cullen, the director, and the first result's some serial killer. <laughs> this movie does not to deserve to be obscure. It doesn't the exist. The opening sequence alone was worth, like, the $3 we spent on this rental. Oh, yeah. It's really freaking good. Oh, I, God. I promise. Watch it. If you can, you might have to go to our local video store to watch this film. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, also, the, Charles Cullen, the serial killer, is apparently eligible for parole in 2403. Cool. Exciting. Wow. Wow. Uh, Hype for 2403. Yeah, it's the best year. It seems like a really weird sentence. Like, 18 consecutive life sentences? Like, yeah, at that point, just like, what, what's the point? <laughs> it's like, he oh, might live that long. <laughs> he's a vampire. It's possible. But, uh... It's like, what, what? It's like, it's like, he dies and then gets reanimated. It's like, oh, prison again. Necromancy. Uh, what, what's... I, oh yeah, so IMDb the, the, on on Charles E. Cullen's IMDb page, uh, Mister Stitches isn't even listed. Yep. On on his yeah, it's that good. It, it is that good. Like th I'm pretty sure this movie just doesn't exist. He has ten directorial credits, all of which we have to see now. Yeah, this a modern day western, the Sanchez saga. Night of the bums. Super badass. <laughs> Killer clowns from Kansas on crack. <laughs> all spelled with K's. <laughs> Yeah, he seems like uh, next Christopher Nolan, pretty that much. That sounds that sounds like Killer Clowns from Kansas on Crack. Just sounds like a Killer Clown from Outer Space bootleg. It does. Bros on bikes. I only know about that song because like I was doing an old school punk show and some people on the show covered it. Okay. Uh, so what hat? What where were we? Gunfight, I guess. 
Sure, yeah, let's just skip to the gunfight. Nothing else, nothing happens in this movie. It's it's only an hour long. And so. there's a lot of chickens. Yep. Oh, Leslie, her introduction, there's like a huge flashback that they never oh, yeah. tell you is a flashback, and it's not really important. There's just like a southern college student pretending to be a gypsy lady. It's artsy, though. It is artsy, because it's all sepia-toned. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like, it's, Even though it's all like, the special effects no, are they just ta- basically they, awful. They use the flashback, like, in the middle this of the flashback. This is not amazing. No, so in the middle of the flashback, they just plug another one of Charles Cullen's movies. No, that's that's not a real movie. The, like, throughout there this are entire like film, three Charles Cullen films that are plugged. Th- I don't think they're real movies. Like, I'm pretty sure that throughout this whole movie, he just made up a bunch of fake things just like as an inside joke. I don't think this is a legitimately yeah, bad movie. Yeah, I don't remember the I, titles on the uh, IMDb being the movie. So there was, there I don't was, think so. They were all really bad, though. Perhaps this is a... Di- can you confirm that this is the same Charles Cullen? I'm pretty sure. I, are I don't there multiple know. Charles E. Collins. There probably are. It's possible. I don't. I don't think this movie exists. I think we just <laughs> hallucinated there's the whole one, thing. There's one movie right. trailer on YouTube with just twenty eight thousand views, and that's all I can find of this movie on the entire internet. <laughs> oh god! It, it looks like we're gonna have to flip on Tor and start tearing up the deep web. Why? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Just open up your onions and it, to the two people who will watch this. Uh, we need you to find this movie somewhere. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it's somewhere, and it, we need to go on a witch hunt. You can't right. read two people? This is going to get, like, at least seven views, man. At okay. least seven? At least seven, yeah. Oh, man. I'll advertise right, it excited. on Reddit. No, you All right. Got, you have Reddit? Sure. Yeah, I have Reddit. I've posted cool. one. You want to get to the gunfight now, oh, guys? Yeah, yeah, I'm gun just so fight. anxious to get to the gunfight. Yeah, I love the so gunfight. awesome. There's so much non diegetic footage of chickens. It's basically just people with shotguns firing at each other with bad effects and bad blood effects. I think most of the gunfight is just chickens, oh, yeah. actually. So, um, uh, I think Hank, or whatever his name is, dies. And I don't think his name is mentioned Bobby. Pr- prior, Dale, prior to that. Dale, yeah, Dale. And his name's not mentioned prior to that. Dale and Hank both King of the Hill characters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Even though 3 a.m. Um, that boy ain't right. And, um... And, um... Uh, we lack some propane. And the sheriff... The sheriff is like, I will vindicate you. <laughs> <laughs> he just screams out tonight, just... Uh, just standing up over his... Over his friend's corpse. I will vindicate you, but in a southern accent. Yeah, I really will vindicate you. And then he uh, dies. He and then what happens is the, there's a brief gunfight between the person who's the chosen one by the prof- by the prophecy. And then she goes into the barn to cover the goats. And then oh, yeah, gets, yeah. And then just gets murked by... Um, in the goats, in the goats. Just what she says to the goats as, as Mr. Fitch is shooting at her. Y'all are spooked, ain't you? <laughs> there's like yeah, there's, there's also line. a lot of goat footage, not quite as much as there is chickens footage, but there's a there's a decent amount. At one time, at one point, the uh, the police guy was just like pointing a gun absentmindedly at the goat, and the goat was just like looking around and then just stepped back, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then he wasn't even looking in that direction. I don't think he even noticed. Oh. Um, but yeah, they just uh, kind of shoot back and forth. What, in front of Mr. Stitches, for some reason, at some points, so there's like a bad grass effect. Yeah, I'm not really sure what was up with that, actually. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. There, there's like sometimes on the bottom and sometimes on the side, sometimes it's not there at all. And it's just grass. And I guess it's to show that there's grass in between the grass. him and the other person that he's shooting. Who freaking knows? I don't know. And then, real um, grass. When's the, um, when's the sound bite? Oh, you right. You know the sound bite, yeah. Yeah, he shoots, he, he fires the final shot in the movie, I think, and then he, like, you know, blows the smoke off of his gun, you know? Yeah. And then it plays the Darth Vader sound effect. That... <laughs> George Lucas can suit Charles E. Cullen if he wants to. <laughs> if he can find him. <laughs> even if, if he is even alive if he, anymore. If he can find <laughs> evidence of this movie existing, other than that one two-minute trailer on YouTube. <laughs> This wow. movie just doesn't exist. Yep. What if what if Charles E. Colin, the serial serial killer, is Mr. Is, Stitches? Is, is Mr. Stitches? Yeah. That'd Cause, be great. Because it said in the credits that Charles E. Colin, the director, um, did the hand movements for Mr. Stitches. Yeah, it's, I mean it's possible yeah. he got practice there. Yeah. Also, speaking of the credits, the credits were the best part of the whole film. <laughs> I mean, like, actually, like unironically. Yeah, it, it was. They were. Uh, 
fairly well made. A half decent effect that was like looped over. And then he was like monologuing about like uh, all those sounds in your rooms and all those spaces in between your walls. Have you ever checked under your bed? Um, you know how your goldfish died and your parents <laughs> said that he just died of old age? I killed him. It was actually. It was me, Mr. Stitches. I just want a grown up bra. <laughs> Why is, Should why, we wrap this up, guys? How long did it take you to find all those sound bites? <laughs> like, ten minutes. It's fine. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for listening to episode seven of the No More S- Steve Movie Night. Smash that like button and hit the notification bell. I know That's you all love... Grass. I know you all love No More Steve Movie Night. Oh, yeah. Didn't realize we've been oh, talking yeah. for 25 minutes. The well, time just flies by just like we watched a whole oh, yeah. hour-long movie where nothing happens it, it didn't seem that long i was enjoying myself so much we were laughing a lot and then i just kind of re- ran out of steam to laugh yeah it was really great just at first it. but soon it was just same old same old well no it was no it was it, always i think great. it was great throughout the whole I thing just, the, I beginning, the beginning was will especially live. great i got like i mean it got i was like, just sitting on the couch with it, the, wallowing the beginning depression. was beautiful but it's like after i think after like the like by the time like the boy got uh, like st- after the bats I think it really started like I actually no after the self the telephone I think it started the really lose steam from oh, yeah, oh yeah the the movie well, the movie starts off with uh, one of the worst green screen effects I've ever seen can you call it a gr- it's it's a super jpegged car <laughs> in front of a green screen that has cropping issues so there are just <laughs> black bars on the left and you know, bottom I'm, that periodically disappear. Definitely- well, uh, this you is... all know that we recommend this film. Obviously, it's a masterpiece. 69, Please watch it if you haven't already. Um, I don't know why anyone wouldn't have watched this film at this point, but like, <laughs> if you for, can find it, if you're a freaking weeaboo, if you can find it, put the link in the comment section. We need to find this movie somewhere other. You can than probably the pirate it somewhere on the internet. Somewhere, but like, if you can find it, put a link. Support the director, though. He had a website, wasn't he? Oh yeah, he also Charles... has. He has a PO. He has a PO box. <laughs> Which means, Carter, you need to um, write the write the numbers and website and like both websites and the PO box down because I don't think we'll be able to find them again after you turn that DVD there's back in. Nothing. Is this the website? CharlesCullen.com? Yeah, was n- that it? There yeah. was another one, but yeah. There's... I'll double check it later. Put, uh, net. Oh, Charles E. Put, like, both of these in the description. We'll see. And also his P.O. Box address. Anyway. <laughs> Just send him, send him dildos. Right. Just yep. do that. Send him dildos in the mail. Uh, we're gonna wrap this up now. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.